So, me and Addy were forced to break up. You guys probably know that. And this is just, this has wrecked me so much because I know I shouldn't cry. These students are experiencing heartbreak for the first time and struggling to find happiness again. I don't think I've ever dealt with heartbreak before. Like, I've had breakups before, but they've never, like, broken my heart. This is, like, a whole new, like, feeling for me and, like, a new pain that I've never... that I've never dealt with before. Honestly, like, don't wish this feeling upon my worst enemy. I've just never felt, like, a pain like this. Like, throw back to when I had appendicitis. Like, I never cried. Like, I felt a lot of physical pain, but I've never felt so much, like, emotional pain. And it, like, hurts. I didn't know that like, you could physically hurt so much from something that was like emotional. The reason why heartbreak hurts so bad is because your future has suddenly changed. The life you once envisioned can no longer be. But when I met her, I started having plans for the future. I started having goals, but when she left, all that just went away and I didn't care about it anymore. I was there for like every part of his life. I, me not being there anymore, like that's hard for me to like deal with. And there's so many things I was looking forward to in our relationship. Your individual identities are intertwined. And now that your loved one is gone, you may not know who you are anymore. And that hurts. If any of you guys have been in a long-term relationship that you know that for a long time, like you and your boyfriend are almost like a unit, like it's like a we, like in a blink of an eye, you're by yourself again. And like, that's something that I have to, I basically have to like find myself again because I was very consumed in our relationship. If that's something that's like a lesson for me. Perhaps the hardest part of a breakup is clearing your mind of their memory and deleting their pictures from your past. I think I just need to try to get everything over <laughs> as quick as I can. I'm gonna go through my phone. <laughs> I'm gonna delete the pictures and videos I have. I don't really know if I'm ready to, to be doing this, but I just feel like I should. I still have like so many like reminders of like the relationship that I need to like get out of my like sight almost. Like a part of me doesn't want to get rid of that stuff because it's almost like the last straw, I guess, like of our relationship, like me taking that down and putting it away is like confirmation. But I need to do it because me staring at pictures of us is not gonna help me move on. Knowing the pain of heartbreak, King Solomon wrote to young people saying, do not stir up nor awaken love until it is yet ready. All the wisdom teachers throughout history have taught that true love is worth waiting for. And while you wait, I suggest you fall in love with something you already possess, your life. Life is a treasure worth finding. It's a pleasure worth enjoying. There are new people to meet, new places to explore, new passions to discover. Before you fall in love with someone else, first fall in love with life. Because if you experience heartbreak and one day lose the love of your life, you will still possess the love for your life. For The Hope Line, I'm Brooks Gibbs. Thanks for watching.